Dr. Thaxton, how did you first get interested in the origin of life? Well, it's very interesting, Steve, because uh, when I was a graduate student in chemistry at Iowa State University, my subject matter was not origin of life studies. It was uh, x-ray crystallography, and we were doing small molecules, not huge proteins or something like that. And there was a, a postdoc who was a postdoctoral student in our lab who was from Harvard and was in contact with some of the Harvard people doing origin of life studies. Well, it had been a, a fascinating idea. I had heard a couple of seminars on the subject, but never really particularly focused on it. And he mentioned uh, a book, it was a new book, by a man named Dean Kenyon that was about called uh, Biochemical Predestination. And it happened to be in our bookstore, so I picked the book up, began to read it. I was very fascinated by it because I felt like that uh, on first reading, it all sounded so solid, so, you know, may, it made perfect sense. But as I began to reflect on it later, I realized that there were a lot of things that I had already learned as a chemist that it just didn't, it didn't fit. And I had sort of puzzled questions, but no real approach to it. Well, I went to Europe for a year, and uh, during that year, I had a chance to uh, reflect and think a lot more about, uh, about the book. That was just after I'd finished my PhD in chemistry. Um, and I had a chance to uh, get some thoughts together more specifically on that subject. At the end of which time, I wrote a little essay uh, giving my response to basically Kenyon's thesis in the book and sent it to him because it was uh, just, a, just a subject, interest, fascinating, growing subject. And his response was that, uh, well, I, I like your criticisms very much um, and encourage me to continue, continue on with it. And that's basically where our book came, came from, was out of that original uh, a response to Kenya's, uh, Kenya's book, The Biochemical Predestination. So it wasn't any uh, lifelong search uh, for the, how life began. It basically came during the end of my PhD studies and when the subject first entered my consciousness as to, oh, this is a subject that's in the traditional evolutionary mode that fits my background and training. I think I will look at it and see what I come up with. And that's basically how it happened. How did you come to write The Mystery of Life's Origin with Walter Bradley and Roger Olson? Well, I came to, um, after my time at both uh, Harvard and Brandeis, um, I had written more on it just privately and developing my own thoughts. And when I came uh, to, to Texas uh, after, after Harvard experience, met Walter Bradley, who, began to, uh, who was also interested in the subject. As we discussed, found out we had very similar interests, but we seemed to be missing each other. Uh, he was an engineer, uh, thermodynamics specialist, and my background was, I mean, I knew about thermodynamics, but uh, had learned it as a chemist and not an engineer. And it just seemed like that we, in our communication, we were missing each other. And we discussed and we discussed and eventually um, figured out that there was a slight adjustment and we could get our vocabularies where we communicate. By that point, uh, I had already met uh, Roger Olson, who we also collaborated with, and Roger was a student of Bradley's at, at Colorado School of Mines. And uh, so the three of us began to discuss and find out that our materials meshed, and so the three of us joined up to write that book as a critique of chemical evolution. Was there an advantage to having the three of you collaborate on the project? Oh, absolutely, because the field lends itself to an interdisciplinary uh, study. Uh, as you might imagine, if you're going to discuss the question of where life came from, that requires knowledge a bit about chemistry, geology, uh, physics, um, all the different facets of what's going on in, uh, with other planets, uh, the, the atmosphere. Um, wouldn't hurt to know some biochemistry either and just a variety of different disciplines. So astronomy or astrophysics 
all these different disciplines are coming in together. Well, Roger was a geochemist, so he covered the geology, geochemistry, um, the conditions of the early Earth in our, in our uh, analysis. I did the analysis of the experiments, the chemical experiments and simulation processes and the chemical part of it. And then Bradley uh, did the discussion about thermodynamics. And then the three of us discussed about the, about the rest and uh, the more the philosophical discussion part of it.